Paco Spales or Bay from Hollow Life is graduating from content warning, uh, the vlogging part. Uh, Vishojo's Iron Mouse does a D&D stream where she raises 69 for 20 for the IDF Foundation. And we have more Needy Stock news and more Vox Akuma news for you in this uh, VTuber news segment. Bay scared the crap out of a lot of people in Hollow Life uh, yesterday, I believe it was, when she said that she's going to be graduating. But she's graduating from something else. She's not doing the big bad graduation, the big bad one. She's not doing any of that. So she's graduating from something else. It's all a joke related to content warning, um, which is where, you know, you do content for monsters and other kind of stuff like that. You do like a vlogging type of situation. Just so I'll be graduating from making all vloggins material. So sorry to have disappointed everyone. So this is vloggins is what is the whole thing that happens inside of content warning. And this person, as we know, we've seen them before. This person up here is a needy sister, is a bit of a delusional needy sister. And they said, graduate already, you're cringe. Um, I think it's cringe to be going after VTubers like this. I think that's the cringe part. So needy sister went nuts after their doc site got blocked, erased. Now open they pick a fight with Hololive. I think he got emotional damage. Is someone saying graduation or termination? He feels irritating now. Because this drama be began when someone graduated and terminated from Kurosanji. People are roasting them in the comments and the only reply is about Do Dookie. Are they talking about Doki Bird? Yeah, kindergarten level insult. That's the best he can do. Or just out of nowhere saying Doki has BPD, gotcha word. Um, You know, the, the colors one, showing them the truth, the truth of the, the high quality that Nidhi Sanji always brings to the table. Just the highest quality possible right there. Time to wake some hollow bros up and it's cursing... The sub in the sub allowed because we're gonna dig three holes in that needy sister. We can we ain't Catholics, but we ain't italics either. Uh, you're cringe anime PFP. Yes, the cringe is cringe. Nico did nothing wrong. Not the first loser to hate on Hollow Life for no logical reason. Of course, ne and it's not gonna be the last, most likely. This really they basically stalk anyone who supports Doki Bird and Hollow, as in stalking everyone who commented everywhere. But normally, needy sisters wouldn't bother Hollow Life in a blatant way. This guy is just probably coping in some way, shape, or form. Simping for a black company that's pretty damn cringe, but they won't see the irony in that statement, LMAO. They won't, and he they don't, because this is what continues happening. Uh, this level of relationship it, to freaking company is disgusting. Defending them straight up making blatant claim is crazy to me. Might be biased, needy Sanji, since I'm a Hololive fan. But if similar controversies happen to Hololive, I will call the same. Yes, every Hololive fan has called Hololive out for their past mistakes. For any moment that Hololive has messed up and messed with the talents, and mess with the freedom of the talents, etc. We hold them accountable, as they always should be held accountable. Now, here's what they said. Needy sister really be molding. BPD sisters really be molding. And uh, yeah, Doki has BPD. Doki bird is what they're saying. Uh, it's not cringe. Doki has BPD. Let's pray for Doki. The cringe, you finally got offended. Needy sister, uh, let's see right here. Who let bro cry in pepperonis at blank cry in BPD? Yeah, she has BPD. People, my mom doesn't have BPD. They keep going to the BPD part. Her, her, my God, dang, this person only has that, that, that thing to try to clap back at people. It's like a, that's like a bad clap back too. Three terminations, four graduations, all claims prior management, only one claims bullying. Just because poor management is true doesn't make bullying true as well. So he just accepted that there's poor management. They just dunked on themselves right there. It's funny because Doki even mentioned once, Doki's just living rent free. Doki didn't even mention once. I'm in this person's head. So effing wild how they become a symbol despite literally just fighting back against the S they threw at her. Like she's undeniably made more, some waves and changed the industry forever, but it was never the point. Unlike some portrayals, she's not a revolutionary trying to destroy any, any color or anything like that. She's not. She's just trying to live her life, for goodness sakes. They're going after the rat for then suddenly become part of Dookie Bird. Like first they went after the rat saying, you know, you should you should graduate, blah, blah, blah. And then they made it all about Doki Bird because of course it's all about Doki Bird in their heads. I have thoughts, none of it good. They went after Moom. I sure can't it, get it because of Doki, but Bay. Like, yeah, Bay doesn't have anything to do with Doki Bird. Because Bay is hollow and the NDF are disgustingly tribalistic, a sentiment that's probably exasperated by the recent graduation terminations. The grads terminated having ill words about Niji, uh, but in vague terms compared to Hollow's grads terminations and certain Hollow members being friendly with Doki. I'll be blunt, as someone who has an Oshi that's clinically diagnosed with BPD, seeing people use BPD as a way to harass Doki is just disgusting. It's wild, really. They are just obsessed with the fact that Doki might have BPD, as if it would change anything about the situation with Niji. Hell, it might have made her stay longer if she didn't have it, but ultimately Niji was slowly moving towards the current S show anyways, but the declining reputation with less and less support for her new waves. Doki stuff is just kickstarted the entire affair. I don't think it was fully confirmed that Doki has BPD, so correct me if I'm wrong, please. As far as I know, not confirmed. It's just what they want. Uh, the poor thing went down bargaining stage of poor management, but bounced back up to denial and delusional again. 
I'm curious as to why they didn't attack Mint, Sayu, and Vishojo folks, though. Maybe just don't have the guts to fight that many on, on that many fronts. Could very well be. Bad management, but they refuse to admit that as Mint gets attacked when she reads some donations. I'm wrong. There's a clip about that. Heck, at the least controversial livers graduate, they can get attached like that. So yeah, so far it looks like it's just something that this person was just being a little bit uh, delusional about, delulu about. And, you know, the comments keep going. But yeah, this this is not, you don't want to be tribalistic this way. You don't want to do this. You really don't want to do this. It's just not smart. We know Iron Mouse has been really pushing recently to do some fundraising for the Immune Deficiency Foundation because she does have an immune disorder. She does have something that she's been living with ever since, as far as I've known that she's existed. She's been living with this. It's great that people are, you know, giving to this Immune Deficiency Foundation because it helps people who are running in this, into the same issue that she is or worse issues or different issues overall. But the point is, she did some lovely uh, fundraising. They raised 69K. Lovely, nice, nice, nice. That's a lovely number. Uh, took me a double take to realize that it's booby, not shoe. Whatever, Connor is greater than booby. Pe uh, peasant is better than a pretentious tax evader. Kuro is trying to tickle the fire demon's feet, but crit failed and stomped on will never leave my head. As effing Louis CK, does need to ever do charity stream? I think Vox did one for mental health. Yeah, he did. He did one for mental health. But then, you know, he turned his back on Selene and did what he did. So considering that, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about the whole Vox thing. But I'm glad that she is doing something that she is passionate about. She's been very passionate about fundraising for this. She's been very passionate about the foundation because the foundation has been helping her and other people who have been dealing with her exact issues. And uh, Iron Mouse with Booby and other V Show Joe members had finished their charity DND. &D. It was a full DND &D with, you know, the um this person on the right, I believe, being the dungeon master. Um raised the immune deficiency foundation. A throne of heresy immune deficiency foundation donate now sixty nine thousand four. Yeah, they missed it by ten. It could have been four twenty. Four thirty sixty nine. If it was sixty nine, four twenty sixty nine, they just missed the magic number. Nice. I actually planned to post, but it ditched the last second. Here is our self cryptic circuit did eight thousand. Our mayor another eight thousand. A lot of people did like Iron Master herself did five thousand. That's very nice. Oh, 69, 420, 69. They reached it at one point. And they reached it at one point. 69, 420, 69. The funny number. That's just too perfect. We'll get them next time. Not the IDF. Uh, the production was insane. Who was the DM for this event? I saw all the players didn't catch the DM's name. Holy moly. That's actually really good. It's really good production quality. Holy crap. That is really good production quality. They went all out for this one. Holy moly. I'm happy that they were able to go all out for this one. It's just some really good production quality. I'm, I'm very happy. The memes keep coming and they don't stop coming when it comes to uh, the things that were happening with um, with him right here. You have the old school one. Then you have all this. That one was still not bad. And then you have this. <laughs> then it happened there. And here it says it's evolving just backwards. Exactly. The first one was not a bad one. It looked like a mafia boss. You know, it didn't look too bad. Uh, really makes me wonder when there's such a steep decline in quality and costumes and for who. Last I checked, it was the biggest moneymaker for the EN branch. How's your default design? You're most well made. I just noticed it's showing more and more chest each iteration. Soon we're just going to open heart surgery on him for the next model. Poor Ram Mama. Yeah, the, the person who did it, I think, was being rushed because they've done way better work than this. So I think they were being rushed and it was probably something that they weren't comfortable with. But, you know, they're working for Nidhi Sanji. So they're probably being rushed. It was probably last minute. And it was probably a lot of edits that they didn't want to do. But, you know, it's it's a commission. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices for commissions. Anything is precious. Kindred fan hoax. Fa Fekuma uh, is willing to reject De Devility returned to Monke. His next assignment was show him half naked. I mean, he got pretty close to it now. And again, dude recently really went from being a CEO to being a hobo again. Because the, the one on the left looks like a CEO. It looks, you know, business-like. It looks really good. The one, the second one looks okay. The one, you know, the, the devil one was eh. And this one right now is really bad. And like I said, I don't blame the artist at all. I blame the company behind the commission for it. Because I think they rushed as Niji Santi tends to do, as we already know. And probably didn't pay them what they deserved, as we all know Niji Sanji does as well. He's evolving, but backwards. Next time he might turn into Unga Bunga Caveman. Um, I like how Vox's model perfectly resembles where Niji Sanji is going now. Living in a cardboard box, Akuma. At this rate, Vox's next outfit should remove all of his clothes instead. Like, what's the point of clothes if you want to look sexy in front of your fans? I bet Niji's sisters will spend their savings just to look like him naked. Uh, you can see the reasoning for the designs and it screams overcompensating. Uh, it, the original one lacked masculine features, uh, more feminine uh, you know, basically hitting that feminine mark, but it's not bad. I mean, it was like more soft. I think is what it was. We don't see that much, a hint of masculinity, like a huge fame. The second one started to remove more clothing to show more of his masculinity. No more cape to hide his frame. 
uh, open chest a bit to show muscle. Third one, might as well be naked with those tight jeans, bulging shirt, and expose more of the chest. And of course, the fact that he's freaking tail in his form really screams overcompensating. Final one is the worst. And third one, likely because he tried to overcompensate in the wrong direction. Seems like Vox thought it was the ultimate manly man is to look like a muscled hobo, took part in war. I mean, I know Vox's lore is an old demon that exists in human history long ago, and samurai form is likely form being evolved into human war. But why exactly? Why do that? Better design already existed in form of Jos Josuji Shinri. He was afraid that it might come to close to Shinri and it would make invite competition between Shinri and the did it first. Oh, okay. So apparently there was someone who did it before him, and maybe uh, he didn't want that to be, a con you know, it's shown as compensation. I'm sorry to the artist, but God, the muscles look so effing bad in his newer models. Like they look insanely fake and overblown. The neck and the head is the fatal one. And the neck is way thicker than the head than the head is. Uh, should have gone full Chinese fantasy. Then we have here, the last Kumurai. Basically, that's what Vox Akuma's face looks like pretty much. Yeah, he looks like it's sharpied on. I'm assuming he tried to have a Ronin design, ended up looking like a hobo. Um, here's this one right here. Much, much better from Tempest. The good Ronin versus the bad Ronin. This is Hollow Tempest here. It's uh, Shinri. This is the one he didn't want it to be compared to. This is much better. The proportions look better. It doesn't look like overcompensation. Like, guy took steroids. It just looks like a, a, a muscled man. That's it. The one is set up for Doki quietly and went through under the bus, but aside from personality, it's how you make older man models. Shinri's stubble and body muscle proportions as shading works well, unlike Vox's. Exactly. And that's the problem there. And um, here's the final one that I see here. Is corporate wants you to find the difference between this picture and that picture. It's, oh, the, the one on the, on the freaking right is uh, kind of... Um, offensive <laughs> I would find that offensive especially with the uh with the eyes and everything but yeah it looks like a doodle it looks like a doodle don't look Fox's typical Chinese stereotype now hoping his kindreds don't give death threats to him dude looks like a hobo uh he pirate world he would be called dirty beard excellent absolutely he would not the meme is he naked so yeah it's really really bad stuff it's just I don't blame the artist at all. I zero blame goes towards the artist. My guess it was just overcompensation on Vox Akuma's part and also him wanting to look different. All right, everybody, here we go. Saya returns from vacation tonight. She's so close to that silver play button. She's so close to 100K. We have to get her there. Let's try to get her there. You need to help her beat Zion, the one liver that she deserves to surpass. It's Zion. Get her to that 101K. Um, and Mint got her play button. Mint finally got her play button. The play button that Claude Clawmark says that they can just ask for. She didn't even have to ask for it. She got it herself. She earned it herself. Let's get Sayu there, though. So the 1.4K left. I'm pretty sure people are going to be able to do this. Because Sayu is a wonderful uh, streamer. She's a wonderful person. Uh, there have been some recent events that have made a little bit too much drama be around her. But she's an amazing person. There's another one. I wonder if Claude's going to ask for his play button now. If he wants his play button, he can just effing ask. Surely Riku will give him a copy of it. Of course he will. Let's effing go. She deserves that play button more than Niji ever did. We could always just effing ask. But I don't understand. I thought they could ask for a play button. People are really, really, really dunking on Claude right here. Finally, long overdue. Glad she didn't have to ask. I bet it feels nice to be able to photograph your play button in a location that's not a generic office space environment. Even with the Metal Gear Solid touch to it. Exactly. Now you don't have that white a background on that white table that supposedly every single person can have their own. But no, we all know, we all know, especially now, that it was in Niji Sanji offices that, that this happened. Not even putting Made Mint, Phantom, MGS, Idol, VTuber, VT, YT as the name. Common Mint, leave Niji Sanji for you to play Silver Button included. Uh, technically, Clawmark was right. I mean, people asked and they received, yes. I wonder if I've been taking this own advice. Maybe just didn't want it. Yeah, they're really going after Claude. Thinking about it, even the livers asked and received their play buttons the moment they part ways with Niji, so they, they ended up getting it in one way or another, right? A little bit of good news in case if this actually ever happens. A U.S. agency is poised to ban worker non-compete agreements. As far as I know, especially in the states where I live, the non-compete only really works if they uh, compensate you for it. In the sense that they give you some kind of compensation to not compete with the... A uh, specific organization that you are working for like for example let's say you're working in animation they don't want you to compete with another anime studio so they give you something in return some kind of compensation for it not sure if that's how it works all around the world or it works all around the u.s but in my state if i'm not mistaken that's why non-competes usually are unenforceable unless they give you some kind of benefit to that now apparently not in every state it doesn't work that way and not uh, around the whole u.s that's why the federal trade commission which is the one who works with you know actual things that work in business and stuff such uh is actually trying to tackle this because it makes it very unfair for the actual worker uh if they have a non-compete like this it could make them unable to to have black corpos like any curl from scamming hardworking Americans would be a major win. While I understand the idea behind non-competes, I fear it's more commonly being used to punish workers than to protect IP or trade secrets. 
plus being able to say, I'm just going somewhere else, somewhere else that could be take me tomorrow. And that might make companies more willing to negotiate with employees. Nidhi Sanji gives out NDAs to talents. I believe Holodive does too. To better keep inside secrets still a secret. I understand NDAs keep projects plans a secret from competitors. But it's also used to silence employees from take, talking about bad treatment. And that does happen a lot of times. That's what Nidhi Sanji wants. Nidhi Sanji can't keep ex-livers silent with an NDA. They have a bigger incentive to treat their current livers better. Well, I mean, that's what you would think. But you never know. Uh, Nidhi Sanji is pretty much a red flag company, a black company, whatever you want to call it. And they're going to do what they can to damage their workers. It seems like, but this NDA is not, is, this is non-compete. NDA means you can't talk about stuff. Non-compete means you can't work for a competing business. So if I wanted to quit working at McDonald's, but I signed a four-month non-compete, then I wouldn't be allowed to get a job at Burger King or Wendy's for four months. That's what it works. It's, it's in the same field. So that's why I don't think it's going to, that's why in my state, it doesn't work. That's why it shouldn't ever be that way. Because that ruins the pe person's chances of using whatever uh, proficiencies they have, whatever, you know, experience they have to go and continue working and making money for themselves. Of course, Nidhi Sanji never stops with the L's. The L's keep coming for Nidhi Sanji, of course. And this one is about greeting cards. A portion of the above mentioned products, of course, they missed the space, but that's normal. That happens. Contain errors due to trouble regarding the manufacturing process. Products that do not meet quality standards will be shipped as scheduled. That do meet quality standards will be shipped as scheduled. For information, please visit the following. And someone did. Quality standards, LMAO. Wonder how to destroy those cards must be uh, failed. Nidhi Sanji's quality standards. I know, right? I remember one of JP's drama tubers talking about fans complained about merch quality at Nidhi Sanji. I guess it was anniversary Eden Garden Wave. Heck, even the photo was rippled from the box. Holy moly. That's bad. So here's what it says. Thank you for shopping at Nidhi Sanji Yen official store. We regret to inform you that we have identified a manufacturing defect in the following products. With this announcement, we sincerely apologize for any convenience caused to customers looking forward to receiving the products. We'll be sending replacements to customers who may be affected. And we have already sent instructions for the replacement procedure via email. So it's it's upon, it's on you to get replaced, not on them to replace it just, you know, proactively. Please note that we cannot provide refunds, exchanges for different designs, or any other correspondence, even though it's their fault. We appreciate your understanding in advance. Customers who have purchased from Nidhi Sanji EN's official store, the affected products, the brand new Death Life for Ayamare, Hex Haywire, Petra Gurren, Sarada Yonagumi, Verver Million, Yuki Wilson, the greeting cards. Affected period, April 10th to April 16th. Affected customers, those who purchased the product during the specified period. Sincerely apologize for any inconvenience caused. We appreciate your continued support in the Sanji official store. Now, what most people would do, what they, I mean, they have the people who bought during that time, right? What I would assume they would do, I mean, what I would try to do is look at everyone who bought during that time period and just automatically send them a replacement. Automatically. Proactively. You know, Rosamy. Oh, thank God. Niji L somehow didn't involve beating down Rosamy for once. I know, poor Rosemary's been getting a lot of mistreatment lately. She's an amazing VTuber. She's an amazing liver. She stayed out of the fray. She stayed out of all this drama. And she's just doing her best. And she, you know, she got shafted with the, uh, with the AR Live. And she had par her parts removed. She hasn't been treated well recently. And she doesn't deserve it. Because like I said, she's trying to stay out of the drama. She's trying to stay out of everything. So, is it paper, cardboard, that hard? Link to source. All this losing. Yeah, it makes people smile. Talents break standards is defined by contact. Uh, slap merch that doesn't uh, meet full expectations, full address. Even if they're letting their valued paying customers know the issue, why not just go and do that little bit extra? Exactly. Why not just send them the stuff? That's what I'm saying. I mean, at least they acknowledge it, but why not just send the stuff to the people that are affected? A small little break for all those who still want to see what's going on with the Nidhi Sanji stocks. It's getting there. It's going to be close to the funny number. It's dropping as it always has. I wonder if it will drop below 2K next week. It's getting close to 2K. So who knows? It might drop. It might drop. For it to drop under 2K before Tuesday in particular, so it shows up in the quarter four report. Quarter four earnings call is going to lead to some blood. The amount of awkward silence in the room is going to be palpable. Impact of the decision to terminate the affiliated contract with Nidhi Sanji Ian Liver are financial results. It says it's going to be negligible. It hit lower than the funny number that people buy back for a few days now. It looks like they stopped playing around. Yeah, they're not going for the funny number anymore. 2162. It doesn't seem to be doing very well. Um, in total, it doesn't seem to have done very well. Excel at eight, sell, sell, sell. All in Parrot Chan's voice, of course. Those ever was 1972. We're less than 200 away. Gargura, the yacht is sinking. Let's effing go. Can it sink below 2,000 yen? Who knows? Trading is not close for the day. The price did dip below 2,160, but it stayed around 2,192 for the close. So the full close was 2,192. Just letting you guys know. So the, it has closed as of me making this. Uh, video right now as of recording this it has closed now here's another thing that popped up okay that is probably copyright copyrighted so let me just uh yeah the music that i was on there was copyrighted so uh i'm pretty sure it's gonna 
actually get the video something something or other with the video so i'm probably gonna have to cut the part out or mute it or something like that so we're gonna take a look at that we're just gonna probably mute that part to be honest with you um black sea incident music name please specials you can find it right you're my special in the youtube search bar thanks so yeah um not going to actually have that on there i'm gonna have to uh mute that portion probably that is all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy thank you